Hey guys, this is Sean Sean from SeanSean.co and the artist on eBay. I Today I'm going to go um, mail a painting, so I'm, I got this right here. So I'm going to pick up uh, the box material, send that out, and hopefully I can fit in a painting. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, wish me luck. Thanks. So about ready to go to the studio. Um, if you look on top of the car, you're gonna see there's all this ash. So that's from all the fires up, way up north, maybe 60 miles away. And uh, basically it goes up in the clouds and the wind blows it all the way over here on your car, so. Basically I have people's houses on my car right now. <laughs> Kinda sucky, right? start now I'm gonna start with the colors so we got a uh, phalo quin blue primary Mars black quin burn orange and iridescent so wish me luck hopefully it goes well
back again. I uh, just finished up. Uh, I just need to sign it, but I can just look at it now. It's not going to make a difference. So zoom in here. Got a lot of different angles at the top. Working down. So I, you know, I pretty much like it. I added, um, and I had some whites to kind of clean up. I usually do it at the end to kind of create the illusion that the white is on top, not on the bottom. So I kind of, a um, little trick of the eye there. Um, I think it pretty much works. Um, the lower right, I'm kind of a little bit unsure of, but you know, sometimes these just go on and on and on. You can just overwork it after a while. So I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I think it, it works pretty much as I want. Um, it's unusual in the sense that I have the white on the outside. Usually I kind of bring the white to the middle and then um, get it darker and darker as you go to the edge. It kind of works really nice that way. I tried to work with, you know, a minimum of color only with, um, you know, the yellow I kind of mixed in with uh, the, the orange red. So it's like all these tints of orange basically. Um, then you have the contrasting blue and then once you do the blue on top of the orange or the yellow, it looks more green. So you got the green comes out, um, which is just, you just how, how, how it happens, right? Um, unless you keep all the blues separate from the oranges, but that kind of gets boring, I think. Um, Cause if you could go with the blue on top of the red, the pure red, you're gonna get this, um, not purple, but reddish, um, it's a, it reads dark. So it's very dark, it almost reads like a black. Um, there is no black in it. Um, I've done black in the past, but I don't think it's really necessary. If you got a really dark color, it's gonna read black. Um, so, you know, a pure black you really don't want anyway in a painting you want. Um, you know, if you wanna be lazy about it, take black and mix in some color, like a red or blue or yellow, whatever you want, just to make it slightly off black. Um, you won't really be able to tell when you paint it, but it'll definitely, the eye, it'll read more interesting into the eye. So you always want not a pure white and not a pure black. Um, but the pure white, I like it. I, I think it's fine, but um, pure black, you usually don't want. Uh, just for that sake, it kind of, what'll happen is that if you put pure black next to any kind of color, it's just gonna lay flat. Um, the only way you can correct that is with a kind of a flat varnish to make everything look flat, but I don't really see the need for black. Um, not that I'm going to be a purist like the Impressionist, but <laughs> I definitely like some dark in the painting. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to roll it up there. So hopefully you like the painting. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And uh, hopefully share with your friends. Let me know if you've ever done uh, tape painting. And uh, if you've done it this in intricate at this small. Usually I don't do this much of this small but I'm kind of you know branching out a little bit do a little bit fill in my um, inventory I kind of have like a lot of large work of this style but I want to kind of focus in some smaller work to get some you know collector taste for the work and you know hopefully they'll scale up and buy bigger work if not they can always leave it on eBay so check it out it'll be on eBay I think it'll probably be around 15 bucks so really cheap um, I don't know this size Maybe it's five dollars, so it's gonna be a really, really nice, cheap um, work you can get in, and really affordable on my style. And yeah, and then hopefully I'll do prints of it later once once the sales start picking up more. All right, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.